Hey Drop, welcome to Horsehead Bookends. Today we are going to be talking about Christmas records. It is getting closer to Christmas and the reason what spurred this decision to make a video about this is uh, last week I pulled out all my Christmas albums. They come out <laughs> once a year and I give them a cleaning and I give them a quick spin. So we listen to them when we're, we're either decorating for Christmas, straightening up, getting get into the Christmas spirit. And one of my favorite albums was almost unplayable because it was uh, really in, in bad shape. So, and that was um, Merry Christmas, Johnny Mathis. And I was so upset. I don't really recall it being that bad, but it was, it, it was terrible. I went down to uh, Scotty's Record Shop in Summit, New Jersey, and I wanted to see if they had another copy of this one. And unfortunately, they did not, but I was able to pick up some other Christmas albums. So I'll show you what I got now, and then I'll show you some of my, my favorite ones that we like to listen to around here. So because they didn't have the Merry Christmas by Johnny Mathis, I got Christmas with Johnny Mathis, which has a much older and more mature Johnny on the cover, and a completely different track listing uh, with some other Christmas songs. So we're going to give this a spin. We're going to see if it's as good as the Merry Christmas one. So, we'll see what happens. Next up, I picked up The Ventures Christmas album. The Ventures are an awesome band, and I was surprised to even see this in there. Uh, but they had it, and I definitely grabbed it. So, I think I might put this one on first. So, I'm excited to listen to this one as well. And then finally, in the $1.99 bin, Switched on Santa. The Merriest Moog Synthesizer plays Christmas favorites. Now, there's another album that I have in my collection, which is Switched on Bach, which is all um, classical Bach on a Moog. Saw this for $1.99. You really can't go wrong for $1.99. You couldn't beat it. I had to pick it up, so I grabbed it, and we're going to give this one a spin, too. So as far as um, some of my favorite Christmas albums go that we like to play a lot, these are the ones that usually get played a whole bunch during Christmas time in our house. And we're going to start off with um, Vince Guaraldi Trio, Charlie Brown Christmas. It's a classic. Everyone knows this. This is a terrific Christmas album to get if you don't have it in your collection. I, I highly recommend it. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Next up is uh, Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. If you grew up watching this movie like I did, you know it it's one of your favorites, or it should be one of your favorites. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it right now. It's great. All the music's done by uh, Paul Williams. And I think this one came out last record store day? Last year? I, I can't remember. But this one's pretty recent, and we listened to this. Well, I listen to this one a lot. My wife doesn't really care for it, but I love it. Next up is one of my son's favorite albums because they have the it has the Hawaiian Christmas song on it and that is uh Merry Christmas from Bing Crosby. It's funny because when I was in Scotty's today there were a bunch of people looking for Christmas albums and there was a few copies of this in the bin and everyone grabbed them. Everyone was like, "Oh my god, I, I need this Christmas album. It's, it's a classic. I remember listening to it when I, when I was little or, or whatever their reason was, but this is this is a great one as well, and uh, we, this one gets a lot of plays. And finally, this one just came out, and it was actually kind of hard to get because it was sold out everywhere, and now prices are going for pretty high amounts uh, on, on the secondary market on eBay, and I don't think there's any copies on Discogs, but uh, some of the prices for it are out of hand, and, and I think it's kind of disgusting. But that is uh, a Holly Dolly Christmas, Dolly Parton's, new Christmas album. It's really good. I was really impressed by it. So I was able to grab a copy at Books A Million, I think, which is an online bookstore, but they also have retail shops. I'll, I'll post the link below. Uh, it was a little more than what Target and Walmart was charging, but I wasn't able to find it in any small independent stores. Um, but I'm happy I got it. I've already given it a listen and it is fantastic. So I would definitely, uh, recommend checking it out. I have a bunch more Christmas albums, but those are just some of my favorites to show right now. And they're ones that I would, if you don't have any Christmas albums in your collection, those were would be ones that I would highly recommend. 
it just gives you it's it's just a lot of fun to put some on as you are uh, as you're decorating your house or your tree or if you're having a Christmas party it's great to just leave them out there and have people put on different records as as the party goes on just to create a, a pretty cool uh, listening environment. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to click on subscribe and ring the notification bell. You'll get notified anytime I upload a new video. Any questions or comments, please post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And let me know what are your favorite Christmas albums. Post them below too, because I want to see if I have in my collection. If I don't, maybe I'll go give it a, a listen and see if I can uh, dig through dig through Christmas music uh, after Christmas and see if I can get them for cheap. Otherwise, talk to you later.